Hello friends, welcome back to Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. This is Mindless Max welcoming you once again to Waxstone with Dorothy Jewel. Now, Dorothy is very hot. Why is she very hot? She is not very hot, but she is quite warm. And that is just because it is midsummer. At this point, honestly, short of dropping everything she's wearing. I don't think there's any way I can bring her temperature really down further. So we're just going to have to be careful. Um, she has done quite a bit of recovery, getting over uh, her last attempt at the... Uh, what do they call this thing? The Fire Watchtower? Something like that? Yeah, Fire Lookout Tower. Okay. Let's see, we need, may need something we can shoot, uh, kind of low on everything. We have grenades, incendiary grenades, it's not particularly helpful at the moment. Okay, let's grab our briefcase and our duffel bag, uh, wear it, fine. Bringing them along so we can use them. Put several items into the seat. Yeah. Here we go. Now. Back out of here. Hopefully not hitting that moose along the way, wherever it's gone. So we're going to see if we can finish with uh, be a tight squeeze. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it through that. No, we're not going to make it through that. Back up. If I recall, there is a bike over here we moved as well. Here's where we are killing the zombies. Yep, there's the bike. First thing we're going to do is drop off anything we don't need to be carrying with us. Which means first we should throw on our arm guards. Drop off the tool belt and the backpack. Actually, let's activate the tool belt and pull out our hunting knife. Okay, once we put our dodge at 4.6. Okay, that's better than it was. We'll build with four items. Okay, let's switch that from destination area is full. Okay, how about here? Destination area is full. Shoot. From there to there. Okay. Sure. 
short string. Oddly enough. Okay, we do hear a lot of womp sound. Door's locked. Okay, we can see that there's a zombie cop in here. Trying to get out and visit us. And here he comes. Let's run. We're in the way one step at a time. And we took him down. Okay, walk. Make sure nothing else is coming. I don't hear any sounds. So I'll just quickly butcher him up, pour that on the ground. It does have a bit of stuff here. Everything he broke. Hey, let's try going up. These doors are locked. These ones are not. Plastic sheet. Heavy duty cable. Jumper cable. Solar panel. Ooh. So that's enabled us to see a fair distance around. What's that? Shrewsbury. Just a restaurant and coffee shop. Okay. Do we have anything that's decent for bashing? No. Stop dragging. Okay, let's activate that expendable baton. Okay, drop you. Sixteen bash. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use that expendable baton to hopefully bash down that door. Busted through these windows to come out to us. Uh, there was apparently somebody in that bathroom. What do we got here? Pocket guide, first aid. Okay, we're gonna get our bags back because we are free of zombies. We are officially free of zombies here. So let's get our stuff back. Uh, we can shrink that baton. Wear the tool belt. Drop. Short string the baton. The backpack, the duffel bag, briefcase, just belt, store, the hunting knife, thank you. Nothing in it. A fire axe. Yes. Hello. A second fire axe. Mineral water, clean water. Excellent. Some dehydrated fish. Book of essays. Pocket guide to first aid. A pillow. A blanket. And just a bunch of busted glass. Some shotgun slugs. We are overburdened now. We still have more room. Okay. So we have grabbed everything out of here. Almost. Okay. Now we have. We can throw it in here. 
two fire axes. Now that's lucky. That could do us a lot of good. We now have a new clear structure. Uh, a structure that is new, newly marked as clear, not a nuclear structure. That pun was not intentional. I think we managed to do it without taking damage, which is excellent. As far as I'm concerned. Um, Okay, we're getting close to Brownfield. I got a body here. Uh, nothing super exciting about it. Okay, and right here we have uh, dispose of waste properly. Olson Trail. More importantly, we have a road. And we can see a German Shepherd. You hear a loud bang from the engine. Oh, don't die on me now. Okay, we've got zombies. Stop right there. Stop driving. What's in there? The rubber hose. Okay. Briefcase in the duffel bag. Can both stay there. Uh, could the backpack? Yep. What did we just drop? Nothing? Nothing. Okay, activate. Uh, draw the hacksaw. No. Store the hacksaw. Activate. Draw the hunting knife. Drop the tool belt into the other seats. Okay. We've got our dodge back. Our speed is only 88. Why is our speed only 88? Because we're in paint. I, I don't even understand why we're in paint. Unless we got it too hot. Okay. Here comes victim number one. Shoot, grab this. over asphalt. And being stabbed in the face. Okay, stop dragging. Do they have anything worth noting? Not particularly. Pack with one cigarette. nearby RV. Mm, no. Four on the ground. It's nice that this pack of cigarette takes up more room than our hunting knife. Q 
keep we are very hot again on our legs. It's primarily due to the arm guard, uh, leg guards. Now that being said, they are keeping us safe. Here comes the tough zombie. Now we hit run. We run for 16. Another 16. 15. Another 16. Another 16. He's almost down. And we took him. Walk. We're just going to chop him up right there. Or on the ground. At least there's no Migos right outside this place. To the east, we can see a zombie child and a tough zombie and a zombie cop. Zombie child is the closest by quite a distance. Now, thanks to being a psychopath, we're not going to be bothered by uh, attacking said zombie child. Unless it proves maybe a little faster than us. Okay, it's dead. Walk. Let's just drag it further away from those other zombies. Butcher it up. Stop dragging. Actually, let's just sort first here to there. Bone, yeah, um, nothing else. I'm not afraid of the darn German Shepherd. There we go. A zombie soldier. That's the most dangerous one. Creepy crawler. What was once a child is now a mutant beast with blackened skin and massive eyes. This abomination's vile form makes mockery of its human origin. So, hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. So it was a child, so it probably has less health than the standard mut uh, evolved zombie. Um, comes the tough zombie. I gotta take care of you. And run. So tough zombies are fast because they were one sec left. Doesn't help them much when you just keep running away, stabbing them. Plastic bag cashews, excellent. We are feeling peckish, so we might just eat that. One, two, three, and four. Something has crawled out of the chewing gum rotten. Where? So something just crawled, um, spawned from so, from chewing gum that was rotting. Uh, I'll have to keep my eye out for it. Okay, here comes the zombie cop. 
and we got him for 18 damage critical. Good. This guy has armor, so they're a little harder to kill. Him just a little further away. Did I say gum spider spotted? Gum spider. A giant piece of gum stretched in the shape of a spider. It stands very still in its gum web. Okay, so that is the chewing gums thing. Okay. First aid kit, excellent. Um, there's also a cash card. Butcher you up. Grab your bones. Now let's go see if we can take out this spider. Because that just looks unpleasant all around. I have no idea how tough this thing's going to be. It, this must be from the... Uh, Sweet Cataclysm mod. I thought chewing gum didn't used to rot and expire. Flimsy gum webs, thick gum webs. Yeah, we gotta take care of this thing before it just turns this entire area into a problem. Are you neutral? You're neutral. Hi. We're gonna solve that. Uh, 19 critical, 20 critical. Missed. And then we killed it. Good. Just out of simple curiosity, uh, okay, it's too big to do a full butchery on, so we're going to quick butcher it, see what we get. You harvest chewing gum. A lot of chewing gum. Bright pink chewing gum, sugary, sweet, and bad for your teeth. It's oddly warm to the touch. Really? It's estimated nominal shelf life of five days. Well, yeah, we're going to... Try chewing a bit of it. Oh yeah, 2,000 doses. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to take that back with us. We will grab that rock, though. Our hunting knife has actually sustained some damage. That's not good. When was that? Was that fighting the cop? This is just us hauling the stuff. No? No idea. It's worrisome, but nothing much we can do about it. There's another gum spider somewhere. Way over there. Something sees us. The zombie soldier. Yeah, the troublesome one. Mist. Mist. Hit him to do no damage. That's not good. We're not hurting him. Hitting him and hitting him and not managing anything. At this point we have stabbed him enough times where something should have happened. Come on, start up. Okay, we need to back up. It's our only way of getting rid of this guy. Just to run him over. Climbs to its feet. It's not dead yet. Let's 
still not dead. Ow, he bit us in the right arm as we drove past. I think we killed it. There it is, bruised corpse under our fridge. Catch our breath. Let's just haul everything out from under there so we can take a look at it. M4A1. Yep. Definitely gonna want that. Grenade. Combat knife. Yeah, we're going to take that. It's probably better than the hunting knife. Plastic canteen with clean water? Sure. The phone. Activate that sheath. First, we have to drop our hunting knife. Then we can activate the sheath. Compare the two. Uh, the combat knife weighs more, takes up more room, it has 18 piercing rather than uh, cutting. It takes more to attack. As rapid strike. It can be attached under barrel on several guns. Uh, it's designed, it's well made and will withstand the punishment of combat. Okay. We are more proficient with cutting weapons, so I think we're already at rank four. That's probably just the better way to go right now. Throw that casing in there while we're here. Oh, are we running still? Solve that problem. Yeah, that soldier just did not want to die. We had to hit him quite a few times. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can take out that creepy crawler. At least the gum spiders don't seem that dangerous. Okay, creepy crawler, you can notice us at any point now. Right up next to you. There we go. You hear a terrible shriek. You hear another terrible shriek. Is it coming from this creepy crawler? Okay, we did 18, it's really dead. Missed it. Missed it. Missed it. Got it. 16 and killed it. Okay, there's a zombie coming. Okay, we need to run him. some cocaine. Caffeinated chewing gum. Rotten. Thanks. Uh, no thanks. Rotten cookies. Okay. Giant wasp spotted. Where? Over there. Great. Let's 
to drag all of our findings back to the vehicle just in case we have to flee suddenly also thinking we may want to straighten out said vehicle and if we need to run into it we can and it won't have uh, gaps for the come on there it goes for the uh, wasps to get in Stop driving. Anything interesting here? It doesn't look like it. Okay, does the wasp see us? It's badly damaged. Short rope. Short rope. Short rope. Nothing super exciting because it's all gasoline lantern that's fully fueled. Yeah, that one we kind of want. We only take the matchbook at the moment, but we can go all here, all to the uh, south, please. Go all to there. There we go. Let's try to take care of this wasp while it's still injured. It seems to be the only one around, and it doesn't see us yet. Okay, now it does. We dodged it, then we cut it and killed it. Okay, we're just gonna butcher that up real quick. Sinew. Wasp ding. Yeah. Thank you for the... Uh, there we go. Handy stuff. Another giant wasp. Where? Okay, it's flitted out of our view. It's not going to be happy with us. We killed its buddy. Okay, that seems to be all there is in this wreckage. Let's check this vehicle out. Uh, uh, faulty engine. Batteries destroyed. Okay. We need to put a bag on. Let's grab our duffel bag and backpack just for now. We do see that brainless zombie to the south, and I think we're going to take care of it. I haven't seen it. Oh there it is. Giant wasp, and it's uninjured. There's a bunch of dead zombies. We need to try not to die. A crowbar. Uh. Please don't die of the poison. Please don't die of the poison. Where are we poisoned? It doesn't really say. Um. We do have a first aid kit. Drop these things. Drop the hunting knife. 
activate the first aid kit. Where is it? Not that, not that, not that. Use. Okay, activate the antiseptic on the torso. Activate the medical gauze on the torso. Uh, antiseptic on the head. Medical gauze on the head. Okay. Body aches. Okay, we're trying not to die. Very desperately not to die. Um, oh, was I still wearing those bags? Or not? Maybe I wasn't yet. Oh, I dropped them. That's right. Wield. What am I still carrying? Medical gauze. at this point, uh, our goal is not to get hurt again. Okay. Pour it on the ground. The torso hurts. Yes, where is it? Southeast, way over there. Oh, no. As long as it stays over there, we're good. Gum spider. Quick butchery, please. Drag you. We're not poisoned anymore. That's that's excellent. And our torso has recovered slightly. Pour it on the ground. Just trying to take care of these guys. It's way over there. Port on the ground. Yep. We're in such a hurry, we're just gonna dismember them. There's gotta be a wasp nest around here somewhere. Those wasps do seem to have helped us clean out the zombies. I thought it was all over there. I thought it was all over. We were that close to dying. A survivor's note. What's it say? The evac shelters are a death trap. They took everyone else away, but something in the driver's eyes told me not to go. Now it's just me. Okay, we see a turkey. Yes, I know we're in distressing pain. Enough wheels. It Damaged, but otherwise good engine. Car battery. It has gas. Hmm. So this vehicle's in okay order. Does it have keys? Yes, it does. Okay, stop driving. Does it still have a charge now? Yes. Working car. We're going to mark it on our map. Wheels. Yes. Uh, engine's faulty. Tanks are... It might still work. Uh, no keys. No wheels. Uh, no wheels. We should also mark our uh, RV there. Paramedics. Uh, busted window stuff. I want to get some looting done while we're here, but I'm terrified we're going to run into another anything. We've taken that much damage, I'm just terrified of anything. Uh, candle, yes. Matchbook, yes. Uh, we're not going to take everything. We are not going to take everything. A lot of stuff, but nothing we're too worried about. Food, yes. Food is always good. Um, cleaning stuff, sure. Do I need those? I don't think so. We'll take the one. I should. Don't need the rotten apple. do 
don't need that, but I will take this milk. Not because I want the milk, but because I want the jug. There we go. Medium tin can of pork and beans, big book of first aid, western novel, yeah. Sleeveless trench coat that fits us, that's excellent. It's a bubble wrap, okay, we're gonna go dump this stuff in the RV. Okay, so we had more rotten milk that we ended up just dumping there on the ground. Um, we did drop milk here, didn't we? Or not? Okay, maybe we didn't. I thought I did. I'm losing it. I am losing it. Uh, nope. Oh. If it wasn't for having that first aid kit, we might have just died there. I, I, I can't stress that enough. So we were still aching, which usually means we're taking damage to that body part. why I doused it with the uh, antiseptic and bandaged it just to get it to start healing up immediately because one or two points of health could have made a huge difference there oh a heat pack and something we need a uh, what should I call it stethoscope for bleach another towel okay antenna and a pair of hard arm guards those could come in handy uh, an ankle holster sure cattail I guess, whatever. Heels, I guess. Rollerblades, rolled sleeping bag, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go empty this stuff before we check downstairs. If I see any movement down there, we're running back out again. Particularly since we're not particularly fast at the moment. Stressing pain. It does seem to be getting a little better since we're keeping out of getting more hurt. Something moved. There's a dead body here. You heard footsteps. Okay, well, that's enough answer for me. <sighs> okay, that right there is a sewer gator. In the late 20th century, there was an urban legend about pet alligators getting flushed down the toilet and growing to adulthood in sewers. This large specimen doesn't look like it sees humans as anything other than a meal. I'm going to close that. It followed us up. Let's clean the broken window rather than risk hurting ourselves. Pick up the few shards of glass, close that door. Exactly one of those things I was worried about running into. Okay. 
Do you see us? No, maybe not. Okay, I think we've got it sealed in now. yelling and trying to get its attention. We can get its attention from the other side of the table. Do you see us? Do you see us? We're going to run now. What we're going to do is close you in there. There. Let's walk again. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go catch our breath in the RV, where if something approaches us, we can see it. I don't feel like going mano a mano with a gator. I don't suppose we have a working flashlight because that would really help me feel safer down there just to be able to see if there's nothing else. Get items from the cargo. Shotgun slugs. No, no flashlights. <sighs> Apparently there were cockroaches down here, as well as a lot of zombies. Um, that it can't break things down at least or we would be having gator problems right now okay we're just going to butcher these guys up real quick Bandana, a wool cloak, okay. Rag. Soap, dental floss, okay, those are decent things. Um, have a drink. Have a drink. It looks like wire. Yep. Uh, we could use a spare exacto knife. Hacksaw, sure. Spray can, maybe. Um, glass jar, yes. Bowyer's buddy, yeah. Rubber gloves, why not? Charcoal small cart with charcoal, yes. Bubble wrap and marshmallows. Pair of scissors, s'mores, pair of scissors, okay. to make sure we got all the zombies out of here. We got cookies. Uh, 
bunch more clothes that we don't really need at the moment. Roach dirt, roach dirt, roach dirt, roach dirt, roach dirt, fine. Apples, grapes, and orange. Yep. Okay, so the only thing left here is that gator, and our torso is actually recovered a little bit further. Still pretty sure that gator could kill us in one blow. Let's see what they had. Cash card, permit marker, UPS, bones, glam poles, and we don't even need that. Uh, old chewing gum, we don't need. Dark cola, sure. This is just a very tiny town of Brownfield. Notes are clear. I killed the... Yeah, I haven't done much to clear this place. Uh, the gators and the wasps have sort of done it for us. Of course, they nearly got us too. Um, trunk is full. Okay. There we go. Is it getting dark? It's getting dark. We need to eat something. Hello, strawberries. Through the lens. This is a duplex. Okay, phone book. Strawberries. Oh, these are locked, but we have. Actually, this one's not locked. Uh, rotten eggs, cheese, cranberries, stuff that's not rotten we'll take. Not gonna bother taking the empty stuff. Uh, we'll take those. No. No. Mm, no. Sure. Uh, rotten bread? No. Ceramic cut and plate. Uh, don't need either of those books. Radio with a battery, good. Leather trench coat, sure. I will take the leather belt. Oh, and some elbow pads. Maybe even the light gloves. Some chewy candy, sure. What's that? Soap, cotton balls, okay. Rag. Crowbar. Pry. Crowbar pry. Crowbar pry. There we go. We got it. Okay. And here we have hydrogen peroxide. Hello. Uh, sponges, comb, hairbrush, hand mirror. We'll take the hand mirror. So we can use that to put a mirror on the side of the RV, maybe. Archery for kids? Sure. Climb up all then we got it's just everywhere. Plastic tumbler. No. no 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 no. 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 More ammonia, more bleach, more detergent, rag. Candle. Flashlight that's not on, sure. Lighter, yes. It's got lots of charges to it. Battery charger, I guess. I don't know if we have any. It's good to have at least one of them. The leather belt, sure. Leather gloves, okay. Smartphone with a fair bit of charge. A pair of slippers. What's that? Marshmallows? Okay. Boxer shorts. Ankle socks. Wool gloves. Long sleeve shirt, sure. 
Couple skirts. that was come from. Run. It's caught up to us. Ah. And I thought we were doing quite well. That, that could be how quick it is. just dropped out of nowhere on us. struggled for years to keep themselves fed, but their once profitable trade routes were plundered by bandits and thugs. In squalor and filth, the first generations born after the cataclysm are told stories of the old days when food was abundant and the children were allowed to play in the sun. Life in the refugee shelter deteriorated as food shortages and disease destroyed any hope of maintaining a civilized enclave. Merchants and craftsmen dispersed to found new colonies, but most became victims of marauding bandits. Those who survived never found a place to call home. The Old Guard. The steadfastness of individual survivors after the cataclysm impressed the tattered remains of the once glorious Union. Spurred on by small successes, a number of operations to resecure facilities met with limited success. Forced to eventually consolidate to large bases, the Old Guard left these facilities in the hands of the few survivors that remained. As the years passed, little materialized from the hopes of rebuilding civilization. Locked in an endless battle, the Old Guard was forced to consolidate the resources in a handful of fortified bases along the coast. Without the men or material to rebuild, the soldiers that remained lost all hope. You are forgotten among the billions lost in the Cataclysm. Dorothy was the last of my characters that was remaining alive prior to my uh, doing the upgrade to the newest version. So there will be probably a little bit of a break as we get everything caught up again, all my editing completed. And then we shall be starting anew. So this is where we're going to call it for today. So have a good night and we will see you again here in Cataclysm, dark days ahead. murders our characters with alarming regularity.